Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Kevin. Okay, so today uh, I'm gonna teach you guys how to do something uh, very useful. It is how to make tea. I'm not a professional, but uh, I think you guys can still learn a lot. Alright, so some of my more experienced uh, tea makers might know that the first step of making a good tea is to find a good cup to put the tea in. So actually, why don't we go through them? So, here's your classic uh, sports cup. It's got the armbands on it. Um, I wouldn't recommend it for tea because uh, sometimes the tea can get so hot that it will burn through the plastic. So, this is a no from me. Okay, um, next is a, uh, a nice mug. Uh, as you can see, um, it's got some coffee here. So I would definitely say that this is a no because it has, it's very obvious that there's a coffee uh, cup here and you can't drink tea out of a coffee cup. It's, it's, it's a basic, basic principle. Okay, um, next, you can see we have a, uh, a tea cup. So we're going to use this one. Um, it's got all the right properties. It's got the handle so you can hold it with your finger without uh, dropping the cup. It's got the nice uh, finish um, inside. It's quite nice. So now that we've got our cup selected, we're going to go on to the next step. The next step is to choose a tea to, uh, to put in your cup. So I, I have a huge selection here of teas because I drink so much. Um, here we have a Tivana tea. Um, I can do an unboxing video later, so we're not going to unbox that now, but I've got some uh, Chinese tea, it's, uh, yeah, um, bought a Chinese tea, okay, but uh, we're going to take some jasmine green tea, this is a classic, uh, yeah, let's get this, uh, it's the packet, they put it into a nice packet for us, so we can uh, open it easily, so, We've got our um, packet now, and now we're ready to really get down to business. Alright, so now we have our tea bag and our tea cup, so uh, we can uh, start, you know, really making the tea. So, um, first I'm going to open the bag uh, to get the, um, the real bag inside. See, this is the real bag of tea. So this is actually what's going to produce all of the flavor in the tea. Um, by itself. Here's the cup. Contrary to popular belief, uh, you don't really have to boil the water. Um, if you're like my family, you'll have a water boiling machine. Um, this has water that's already, it's constantly hot. So we can just use that water. Instead of boiling water, it'll save us some time. So I really recommend that for the beginners. Um, In this step, it's especially important to make sure not to uh, burn yourself. Uh, yeah. Alright, as you can see, I filled it with water. Um, now, now, now that it's hot, I will put the tea in and let it soak for a couple of a uh, couple minutes to get all the flavor in. Yeah, the flavor's not entirely in yet, so we'll have to wait a little longer. As you can see now, the tea is starting to become a green color. So at this point, you can choose to either le leave the tea bag in the tea uh, to create an even more uh, more flavor, or you can take it out. I prefer my tea a little light, um, so I'm going to take it out now. Uh, you ring it. Let's just take it over to the trash can. Alright, so yeah, now we can really start getting down to business with this uh, cup of tea that we have here. I constantly have people asking me, what's so special about tea? Don't you just take the tea and make it and drink it? There's so much more to it than that. Making a tea is like an art, like drawing or painting. Making tea can be rewarding and beautiful. That's why now I'm going to show you how to give some more flavor, more than just what the packaging gives you to your tea. 
So I prepared a couple um, ingredients that really liven up the flavor. I found for me that this is the best combination of um, ingredients to make your tea taste the best. So I've got some powdered sugar here. Um, it really makes your tea sweeter and taste better overall. So let's just pour that in here. I find that a couple cups of it will um, do just fine. Uh, next, people always use cream, but I, I find that uh, vinegar actually works better to get the desired taste. Um, it doesn't just uh, make the flavor salty, but it also adds a more natural flavor to it, like eating crabs or uh, relaxing at the beach. So. Uh, you know, a couple uh, grams of that, I think, is good. Um, next, I have some uh, Chinese uh, thing. Uh, it's a, I think it's a, a spicy tofu uh, plant. So um, this will serve to make your tea. Uh, it really spices up the flavor. It adds a sort of a. A vegetable like so for my uh, vegetarian viewers um, this this might be the right option for you so <clears throat> put in the tea it doesn't dissolve immediately so you might have to stir it around a little bit perfect and lastly just to top it off I know uh, this might seem untraditional to you like uh, weird or something, but trust me, it really makes the flavor special. Uh, I have some Cheerios here that I'm going to put in here, and it really adds some interactivity. Like, tea, if you're not drinking tea with someone else, it can get kind of boring, but with Cheerios, your tongue will meet something new every single time you drink. So now, uh, just to recap, we've got our sugar, our vinegar, our uh, tofu, and uh, you know, <laughs> just a little something weird, our Cheerios. Um, and now, let's give it a try.